Welcome to this month's Art Talk. Every month, Julie Schumer and I discuss what's been going on in our art business in hopes that you'll find something valuable for your own art business. So Julie, what's been going on with you this month? I know you had a big art fair that you attended. Yeah, it, this past weekend, my husband and I did Art Santa Fe for, a pro, I think I, this is the fourth time I've done that fair. And it was a really uh, good experience. It, the, the fair looked really beautiful. Um, there were a lot of people actually showing their work in a fair for the first time. They had a lot of solo artist booths. And wow. it kind of brought home to me. I was so happy to see people, putting emerging artists, putting their work out there and, you know, trying to make this happen for themselves. And it, it kind of brought home to me how important it is to have multiple lines of the ability to put your work in front of people, galleries, mm -hmm. art fairs, art festivals, mm -hmm. you know, cultivating um, designers and decorators, that kind of thing. It's, it's really important to do that. And I know for us, we made a lot of new contacts. Um, the audience that actually attended this fair was not your typical Santa Fe art fair audience, which was kind of interesting. There was another big event happening that same weekend, which was the International Folk Art Market, mm -hmm. which brings in a lot of people. So I think that each fair kind of cross-pollinated the other. Um, so we had a, a nice new kind of crowd of people, which was interesting too, that were, I think, a little more, I would say, educated art buyers and kind of really knew what they liked, which was fun. It was nice <laughs> have that kind of thing happen. Yeah. But uh, that's, you know, the, the fairs are complicated. You know, when you first start out doing them, they're, they're kind of overwhelming, but they're really doable, especially a smaller fair like Art Santa Fe. It's not the biggest one on the block. Mm -hmm. It's probably similar to the Dallas other art fair in size. Mm, you know, okay. Maybe 60 booths. It's a it's a very walkable fair. Um, so I I guess I would encourage people who are thinking about maybe doing an art fair to kind of look into it and maybe put your toe in the water and try it because you never know what's going to happen. My husband sold a large horse painting. Um, I have several leads percolating. So, you know, it's it's another way to be seen. Well, it's super exciting. And, you know, I do agree that. I think it's helpful if you're an artist to have more than one income stream, maybe two. Mm -hmm. um, and it's not like you have to have 10, but right. you know what tends to happen is one's doing well and the other one not as well and then vice versa. Mm -hmm. So it's always good also to be out there to mingle with your, with your people and to understand mm -hmm. who's attracted to your artwork, to build your email list, um, there's no better way than an in-person event to build your email list because people will meet you, they'll see your work, and they'll they'll want to stay connected. So it's a perfect lead-in to get people to sign up for your email list. And an email list, I think, is one of the most important ways um, for artists to run their business because you own that uh, versus social media where you don't own your followers. And you can communicate with your list and and build your audience. And so, um, you know, I think putting yourself out there is a great thing. So it is awesome to hear that there were so many, you know, newer artists who were at the show. So how, oh, many, yeah. how many artists total are exhibit at this show? I think that they have between 50 and 60 booths. And, you know, we had a larger booth because we went as a gallery space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but the, like the solo booths, most of them are like four by 12 by four or four by 10 by four. So, you know, you can hang up, you can make a nice arrangement in that amount of space and people can get an idea of what you do. It's, yeah. it's not too small of a space mm -hmm. for that to happen. Um, but I, I saw a lot of first timers there who they, you know, they had, didn't quite have it together all the way, but I think by the end of the fair, they know what they would do differently next time. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, and the, the, you know, Santa Fe is a, is a town of a lot of older people, a lot mm -hmm. of second home people, a lot of retirees. But I saw a very much younger crowd all weekend, and it was oh, fabulous. Wow. To see that. <laughs> yeah, really. that sounds that sounds awesome, and and congratulations on the sales. Um, yeah. You know, it is so exciting, though. I think to be at an in person event. So if you haven't tried 
an art fair or something similar and you're thinking about it, um, I think we would both say, do, do it. it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Just go for it. Absolutely. If it's geographically compatible with you, you don't have to drive too far um, and you, you know you can afford it, then I would say definitely do it.